when you've been working wood as long as I have and you work with hand tools, there are some solutions that really help. So I've got one here that I think will help you. I've got a piece of wood, I've got a straight edge here. I can sight down it like this and I can look for undulation, I can look for twist and things like that. If I hold it this way, I sight this end with that end, I can see it's twisted. I can only see it's twisted and with experience you get to know how much it's twisted. Take a straight edge across here, I've got a hollow here, I've got a hollow here, high spot, high spot, high spot. So things like that uh, make it more difficult to sight in where the problem is. So I'm looking at twist here. I put my winding sticks on here like this and then I sight it from one uh, winding stick to the other and I can tell again visually I can tell how much it's twisted. What I can't tell is exactly how much it's twisted. So what I'm going to suggest to you is make a, a wedge, put it under one of the winding sticks and keep moving that wedge further under or less under until you feel like you're at a, a twisting that's that's not a board that's not twisting so that these are both level now I just take a pencil I mark it and then I take this distance is how much it's twisted if I eyeball the center of that distance I can use my finger as a gauge now this is the high spot this is the high spot so with that set now you can measure this if you want to put a line flip over and put a line now those two marks mean that if I plane from zero to this mark and the same on the other side from zero to this mark, the board will not be twisted. I get two things from doing this. So I'm going to this one eighth mark, which is what the amount of half the amount of the twist. And I line it up with the opposite end. And then I just strike a line along there all the way. And that's got the, that line is perfectly true and straight. Flip over and I do the opposite to this side. So I'm going from the one eighth mark at this end to zero at the other end. Now I'll show you in a second what we've got because we've solved two problems with this. What we've solved is the straightness of the board. We've solved the twist but we also, yes, we're taking out the straightness, the lack of straightness as well. So I'm going to put a straight edge from this one eighth mark to zero on the other, on the opposite side. Now this has got a hollow in it this way as well. I'll show you that. We've got a hollow in the board as well. So that's an, an added uh, fault flaw. And these are all flaws that we're constantly working to take out when we're working with wood. So whether you use machines or hand tools, these twists are still there and you still have to find them and you need to know how much to take out. So there it is. So I've got these four lines. One, two, three, and four. And now I can plane down to that level with a good sharp plane and get all the twist out. After that, I take a marking gauge, set the thickness I want, run it all the way round to that true face, and I've got a perfectly true uh, board, thickness and everything. So that's what I suggest you do because it gives you a delineation. You know exactly what you're working to.